If you watched my first video on how to install the local AI package for NADN, OpenWebAI, etc., then you may notice that there was also a search capability, which is here XMG. But this is not included in the default workflows right now. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use here XMG, which is an alternative to Brave Search. It's open source and it's already included in the Docker stack from local AI package. So let's get started. The easiest way to include CRXMG is to use the community node, which already exists, and I show you how to get it. So within N8N, you can go to your profile here on the bottom left, go to settings. Then here on the bottom is community nodes. Just click it, then click install community node. And you can now click on browse to get to the web page. And we can search for seer XNG here now. And it's the first result here. Just click it. And then you can read here more about it if you are interested. I will just copy here the name of the node. And we go back to NA NADM and just paste it in here, the package name of the node. Then, yes, we understand the risk of installing and click install. Takes a few seconds. Okay, the package is now installed. You can see it here, see the version here, and we now can use it. Okay, back on the workflow screen, we need now to duplicate our V3 local AI agentic workflow because I figured out that when we restart our N8N workflow, the Docker, or recreate the Docker container, then it will re-import the workflows again and we will lose our workflows because they are overwritten. So we need to make sure this doesn't happen and this we can achieve by duplicate. So create your own version of it because only the default ones will be overwritten by the import. So duplicate it and now we can work on this. And we can now add a new tool to the REC AI agent. Search for SEER. And the first result is the SEER XNG tool. Select it. And now you can create new credentials. The default settings are here fine as soon as you didn't change anything uh, for the AP key, API key or the container name. So uh, we can quickly check this in Docker. Let me pull this over. And as you can see here, the container name is here XNG and the port is 8080. So this is fine. And by default, there is no API key active. So we can leave it like this. Okay, then we go back here in this setting screen, make sure you toggle here, let the model define the, this parameter so it can define the query. And you could also do this for the categories. Either choose a few of them or one, or let it define by the model. I leave it like this for now, and we go back. The next step is to save the workflow. And when we now try to activate it, we will see an error, an error. Because the problem is by default N8N or the tool agent we got here does not allow to use community nodes. So um, how to fix this? For this, we need to go to our local I package folder where we cloned everything and go to the Docker compose file. Here in this folder, open it with your editor. And you need to add to the N8N service this environment variable, which allows then the tool usage for community nodes. So I already had it in. You have to copy paste it in your file. I will link it or add the text in the description. Then save it. And now we need to recreate the 
containers. How we do this? Uh, I already got it open here. So the first command is this one. A little bit bigger here. So it's docker compose minus p for project local ai down n8n. So we just recreate the n8n container, not everything else. Okay. As you can see, now the container is removed and we just need to recreate with docker compose minus p local ai up minus t n8n. Okay. And as you can see here, the n8n import is also running and this will override the default workflows. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I don't know if this is intended, but yeah, it is like this at the moment. Okay, now there it's recreated. We can refresh the page here in the browser. And if we now try to activate the workflow, it works perfectly fine. Okay, let's see. Yeah, everything fine here. And now we can test out our search. So open a new ch chat here on the bottom. <clears throat> let's do a hi first to see if it is working in default with auto search. No, oh, I missed one configuration here. Because I reinstalled my instance. So choose the correct model here. Save, try again, and everything worked fine. Got a response, and now let's see if the search is also working. Search for latest news in Germany. What are the latest news of today in Germany? Yeah, okay, now it triggers the CRPNG. The first time it didn't work because the, the model decided not to use the, the search, but this is uh, something you could fine tune with the prompt behind. So you have your system message here as shown in my other videos, and you can yeah edit the, the system prompt and make sure it triggers the search node. But as you can see, the search XNG node is working and you can use it. Um, maybe let's try one more thing and see if it is also working um, in Open Web UI. So let's clear this up here. Just let me quickly check the production URL because we copied the workflow. So I guess we need to change it in the configuration in Open Web UI as well. So we go to admin panel functions and change the webhook URL here. Make sure you also change localhost to n8n as shown in my previous videos. Save back here. Search for news in Germany today. From today. And we can now go back to N8N executions and see what it does or did. And as we can see, it triggered here as well the search node. Let's go back to Open Web UI. And as you can see, we got some news back here. Okay, this was everything I wanted to show today. Let me know if it helps and if you have other requests or stuff I should show. And see you in the next one. Bye.